Let's get more on this now from ABC News contributor and Sirius XM radio host Mike Muse. Mike, what did you think of Matt and Rachel's interaction last night and the news that they broke up over this controversy? I found their interaction as complicated as this story is very complicated. Uh, I never thought, Diane, that you and I will be having a racial social construct uh, through the lens of The Bachelor. But here we are, uh, in particular coming off of the heels of the Meghan Markle interview with Oprah Winfrey and Prince Harry. Uh, interracial dating now is at the forefront of America. It's at the forefront of our conversations because of the racial challenges and dynamics now that we are having in society. You know, Diane, before before, you know, this season of The Bachelor, uh, and really before maybe 2018, America's has enjoyed, uh, the, a lot of Americans have enjoyed the privilege of not having to look at race, not having to think about race. Uh, but there are those of us who always have to wake up with the burden of race and having to wake up with the burden of explaining microaggressions and passive aggressiveness and, and racial undertones and racial policies that prevent a lot of people from moving forward. And as Matt said something to Michael that I found really interesting, uh, uh, in, the, in a GMA this morning, he said, I should have asked more questions. And I think now, as individuals engage in interracial dynamics and interracial relationships, they're going to have to ask those questions, even if they come from existence where their blackness isn't an issue for them or their whiteness doesn't force them to think about race. Uh, they're going to have to now, because even if you live in this world and, and maybe you're privileged enough out there where you don't have to ever see race as an interracial couple, and I'm happy for you if that's the case, but that's not reality. And there will come a time at dinner. There will become a time when that black man you're with uh, will may get pulled over or have an awkward interaction or uncomfortable, aggressive interaction with the police. And then how was that conversation going to be? And then how will that person respond? And then that's why we need to ask those questions, because it comes down to how is your partner going to respond? And that's what you need to know now as you're dating and doing the courting process. And that's a hell of a lesson that we learned, Diane, through The Bachelor. Who knew? Through all through The Bachelor, right? And Mike, Matt also mentioned on GMA that the conversations sparked by this season are more important than anything else that happened. How do you think this all affected the broader conversation around race? I mean, to your point, here we are having this conversation, and it's all due to The Bachelor. It is. I, I, but I think it widens it out, Diane. And, and, and Matt said something interesting on uh, GMA. That was a really good interview that Michael Strahan did. Uh, he said that, you know, he's had those conversations with the women of color and Bachelor, but he didn't have it with the larger women or the white women as a whole. Uh, I think because the Bachelor is such a mainstream property, right? Everyone around America watches the Bachelor from middle of America to the coast. And so as a result now, it's forcing us to have these uncomfortable conversations. And Diane, it's about time. Uh, for so long, race and race conversations have been the burden on marginalized communities and people of color. Uh, it's about time now that more people become included uh, into the conversation, whether they like it or not. You know, black people, you know, we have to have it on a daily basis. We don't wake up wanting to talk about race every day, but we do. And I think now that burden needs to be shared on the rest of America in order for us to move forward. We see it, particularly with the biracial community and those who have interracial identity the complexities and challenges that they face, right? We see it coming uh, with Meghan Markle now. We see it with Matt. He's biracial himself. But what's interesting, Diane, it's about sometimes how individuals present, right? So pr Matt presents uh, with blackness because of his color and complexities, but his mother is white. And so he's having a really diff different experience as someone who presents black, but has biracial identity with his mother being white. And so what is that world like for him? And how does he navigate this space in his world? World, and how many others are navigating that space? How was Meghan Markle navigating that space? And so I think now, because of the popularity of the Bachelor, it is America's franchise, uh, that now we're starting to see, and I hope, Diane, uh, more America, more Americans engaging in this very complicated and uncomfortable conversation that marginalized communities have had the burden to bear for so long. I think now it's time for the rest of America to jump on the conversation. And Mike, longtime host Chris Harrison is also stepping away from the show, at least for now. Next season, he's being replaced by former contestants Tasia Adams and Caitlin Bristow. What do you think this means for the franchise, and how do you hope to see the franchise move forward from this? 
I'm excited for the franchise because a previous host showed um, that he's not the one to navigate when it comes to interracial dynamics. You know, this bachelor, this cast was the most diverse cast that we've seen. I only see it getting more diverse as we go. Uh, and so it's going to take host or host plural uh, in order to be able to navigate these difficult conversations around race that we are now going to have to have. Uh, you can't skate away from this elephant or, you know, run away from the elephant that's in the room, Diane, anymore uh, when you see an interracial dating experience on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. They're going to have to come up with a conversation about how do you feel about George Floyd? How do you feel about Breonna Taylor? Like, those conversations are going to have to exist. How do you feel about the AAPI community hate that is happening? How would you respond to that? How will your family respond to that? Because Matt said something interesting, Diane. He said, you never saw the whole me. You never saw the wholeness of me as a black man. Uh, and as too often, sometimes black men and people of color, uh, we get separated from this other, this othering that exists, right? Not understanding that we are every black man in America. I'm no different than any other black man in America. Do not other me. Do not make me different than the rest. And so when you see me is when you see a black man on television, when you see a black man in the street, this is how you see me as well. I'm no different. And I think that was something really interesting that Matt got to. And I hope America uh, picks up on that a little bit more because we do have those conversations in silos. Uh, but I'm hoping now we can have it moving forward and having two new hosts uh, who can navigate uh, that complexities of that, uh, particularly being women, um, I think it's important in the backdrop of the Me Too movement too as well. So I think The Bachelor just catching up uh, to where we are in social discourse in America. All right. Mike Muse, always great to talk to you, Mike. Thank you. Thanks, Diane. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.